Welcome again to the First Aid Show. Now prevention is usually better than cure and this goes for monitoring your cholesterol levels to help reduce your risk of heart attacks and strokes. The press reports on cholesterol along with TV adverts have made this more of a talking point over recent years. It has been portrayed that it's the silent killer but there's more to cholesterol than just a number. You have to take into account many individual factors. For me personally, I never thought that I had a problem with cholesterol. Um, it wasn't until I had a routine medical that uh, the doctor turned around and said to me about my genetically high cholesterol levels. Now, I didn't even think I had this. It was news to me. It wasn't until I then spoke to my parents about it and found out they both had high cholesterol. Now, cholesterol, generally speaking, can be controlled by exercise, better diets, cholesterol-reducing drinks, uh, or even the drugs, which are statins, which we'll talk about later on. There are two types of cholesterol, LDL, the bad cholesterol, and HDL, the good cholesterol. LDL cholesterol contributes to cardiovascular disease, and HDL helps reduce cholesterol and protects us. The lower the level of LDL cholesterol, the lower the risk of heart attack and stroke. LDL cholesterol levels of less than 100 are ideal. 100 to 129 are near or above ideal. 130 to 159 are classified as borderline and high are 160 to 189. These are high levels. If you have levels above 190, this is very high and prompt action must be taken to reduce it to a more acceptable level. 70 to 80 percent of cholesterol is produced in the body and the rest is from dietary sources and it's a type of fat. Cholesterol levels should be checked and monitored if you're at risk and routine checks from time to time can identify potential problems early. The test is very simple. It's a blood test and you can buy kits from your chemist from under £20 or more accurate tests from around about £100. You can usually always get tested at your doctor's or your health clinic. Your cholesterol level should be less than 5 and as a guide the following shows higher levels. Very high if it's over 7.8 High, 6.5 to 7.8. Mildly high is 5 to 6.4. If the levels are too high, then this alone is not a major problem, as there are other factors that need to be considered, like age, sex, size, parental levels of cholesterol, smoking, and exercise, just to name a few. If you have a high reading, then you need to get some advice, and maybe look at changes in your lifestyle, more exercise, or a better diet. The use of foods like Benacol um, are an excellent way of reducing your cholesterol levels, added to good diet. Triglyceride is a form of fat in the blood, and if you have high levels, your total cholesterol levels are usually high as well, including a high LDL and a low HDL, the good cholesterol. Your triglyceride levels are normally defined as normal if they're less than 150, borderline to high between 150 and 199, high 200 to 499 and very high over 500. Blood pressure should be ideally under 140 over 90, but this is not an exact science either. Finally, there's a lot of talk whether statins are a good idea. They certainly work, but they're not really an excuse for proper diet and exercise, and they do have quite considerable side effects in some people. So to summarize, Cholesterol levels are very important, but the only way you're going to find out what your cholesterol levels are are by going to see your doctor or getting a home test kit, talking to your pharmacist. Very easy to do, and a lot of people are worried about it, but just get yourself tested, find out what your cholesterol levels are, and then you can see whether you're at risk, and if you are at risk, sort out your lifestyle and diet, and then you can keep yourself safe from these conditions like the heart problems and stroke.